What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm going to show you one of the coolest home theater couches that you can get. I'm gonna show you the ins and outs of this couch. I got this couch at Rooms to Go for $1,500, but I found out that it's around $1,100 on Amazon for the same couch. So I'll leave a link in the video description below if you're interested in this couch and that link supports the channel at no extra cost to you guys. So let's go ahead and get into all the features on this couch. I love this couch, super comfortable. They made, made another version uh, at Rooms to Go. It's a gray leather version of this couch, but the controls are on the side, which I don't like because you can't really see the buttons. These buttons and controls are up front. Everything's visible, so you know what button you're hitting. Now, I didn't come with these lumbar pillows. They make another version where it has lumbar support in the controls but that cost additional $600, which was way out of my budget. Now here's the control panel right here. There's one for the left recliner and one for the right recliner. I like this LED light. It's kind of cool if you have a glass of water, it makes it look kind of cool looking. But let's remove this for now. And you can see inside of here, there's a LED ring, which is kind of cool looking. You can of course turn that off. Now, if you leave it on after I think an hour or two, it turns off automatically that I noticed. And let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you the reclining features. So this blue button right here, this will recline the chair and then this will recline back. And then this is your headrest controls. All right, so right here is your storage. I have my headphones in here. And if it's a video game controller, plenty of room for your controllers, for your game systems, and headphones. And then, of course, the reclining feature is very smooth, very quiet also. Pretty quick, in my opinion, it's pretty fast. And very comfortable. Um, this version has no lumbar support, that's why I got the lumbar pillows. For If you want the lumbar, uh, support uh, version that's going to be an extra six hundred dollars like i said i'll leave that link in the video description below if you're interested you can see the headrest it comes up and so you can watch tv without using you know your neck muscles and straining your neck so i'm going to show you that so if, let's say you're re reclining and the headrest really is handy all right, so right here, of course, I'm looking at the ceiling now. And then if I want to adjust the headrest, and then, and then it tilts my head toward the TV. And as you can see right here, it's pretty durable. Now right here, you have reading lights, and you can turn them on by flicking these switches right here. And if you're reading a book right here, you can aim it tilt the lights. This center console flips down and it reveals two more cup holders. And you have power, two AC outlets, and you have two USB ports. I also have storage for my blanket. Now let's talk about the complaints. Now, even though this has great reviews on Amazon, some of the complaints were regarding shipping. Now, when shipping this couch, sometimes some of the parts, like the, the main board, could jar loose during shipping. And so when you're using the reclining feature, it may damage parts. So keep that in mind. But there is a warranty, of course. Let's talk about how do you move it? How do you put it together? Well, let's go ahead and look in the back. All right, so we just unplugged the power source right there. There's another one right here. You have to unplug. And another one right there, to, you have to unplug. And I plugged mine into a six-way power strip. And this is the three-prong power cord comes from the center console. That's for the AC outlet and the USB ports. And then uh, the two-prong power cord powers the motors. Now when you assemble it, you just slide it on to this bracket. But if you want to remove it, you have to lift up on each side of this latch. This is kind of like a spring latch where you have to lift that up and then bump it. I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, so 
put my finger on that latch on each side and I'm gonna bump it okay and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side like that up oh, <laughs> this side got locked let's go do that again there we go and now we can remove the back and this is what's inside the stuffing now if you want to put it back on it's going to come in pieces like this so it's important to learn how to put it back on if you're going to buy this couch and this metal bracket right here and this metal bracket right here they slide on and you'll hear it click so this is the spring i was talking about it's pretty stiff and the quality is pretty solid so you really have to use a little bit of force when moving that spring to unlock it, but to put it on, it's easy. So make sure this, of course, is facing outside of the couch, and then this doesn't get pinched. You don't want the power cord getting pinched. Put this on, and it's always good to have two people. So this side is lined up, and this side is lined up. All right. And that's it. It's really easy to install. And then this is only a one-way plug, so you can't screw that up. So it only goes in one way. And that's locked in, it latches down, and then the Velcro is just like that. So guys, if you're interested in a couch like this, check out the links in the video description below. Those links support the channel at no extra cost to you guys. If you found this video informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you know anyone that may be interested in this couch, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them. If you want more tech videos like this coming your way, subscribe to Tampa Tech. Click on the subscribe link right here. And if you want to check out my other tech videos, click on this link right here. Thanks guys for watching.